So I like uh, Donald Trump's Twitter feed. I don't know if you've ever watched Donald Trump's Twitter feed or looked at it or read it or whatever. You don't watch it. You watch television. You don't watch our Twitter feed. <laughs> so um, it's, it's, sir, it is a study in stupidity. And, uh, and uh, if nothing else, it's a study in a lot of things, but certainly that. And I don't actually follow Donald Trump. I'm not going to give him the, the follow. But my friend Johnny, uh, Johnny Pye from the Young Turks does. His actual name is Johnny Iarola. I can't say it right. It's hard to say Johnny Iarola. Yeah, it's pronounced I I I R O L A. Yeah, that's Johnny Iarola. I I I So, uh, but he's I love Johnny. He's a great host, and he's very funny, as you're going to see. Uh, Donald Trump uh, tweeted this out. Let's get right to it. The Washington Post quickly put together a hit job book on me comprised of copies of some of their inaccurate stories. Don't buy. Boring. And Johnny Pie's right there. Johnny Pie says, so you've read it? (laughs) (laughs) I don't think you read it. I'll be honest. I don't think you read it. That's Johnny that, Aya de Rola. There it is. Aya. Yeah, Aya de Rola. Aya de Rola. Aya de Rola. You, you de Rola. That's yeah. Atticus Barry. We all de Rola. Here's another one. Here's another great tweet. It is being reported by virtually everyone and is a fact <laughs> that the media pile on against me is the worst in American political history. First of all, it's being reported by everyone that the media pile on is the worst. So, I mean, so the media, well, here's how Johnny said it. Wow, that's pretty bad reporting. Those reporters are reporting about themselves. <laughs> Sad. Sad. <laughs> Johnny Iarola. I tell him he's funny all the time. He is. Here's one more tweet. Someday when things calm down, I'll tell the real story of Joe at NBC and his very insecure longtime girlfriend, Morning Mika. Two clowns. This is the guy who wants to be president. Just to be clear, that's... Tweeting s- about basic cable hosts. That's like Scarborough? A si- Sorry, is that yeah, Scarborough? Yeah, that's Joe Scarborough. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, Joe at NBC. He means Joe Scarborough. It's a good point to point that out. Yeah. Yeah. This, uh, the guy wants to be president. He, he's trolling basic <laughs> cable hosts on Twitter. And here's what Johnny Pie said. Lincoln used to tweet stuff like this on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> so presidential. Johnny, I ain't rolling. Anyway, I saw those tweets today. And I was just laughing my head off. Johnny Pye was on a roll. Uh, there you go. That's from 822. So uh, so the I don't, those tweets, though, who says it, stuff like this? You can see him gesturing while typing, too. It's just it, it's amazing. He even kind of captures his idiotic way of pausing and interrupting himself. And it, it I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. So I figured out something. When Trump says something that's like, wow, crazy, like when he said uh, Barack Obama is the founder of ISIS. He's the founder of ISIS. Mm. He founded ISIS. When he said that, he knew that the media are, are, uh, are easily manipulated. The media. Because he was trying to get people to stop talking about he, wanted, he called for assassination of Hillary Clinton. Yeah. So that's when he goes, I'll just say something crazier. He's done it his whole life. You say something crazy, they report it. You say something crazier the next day, everyone forgets about that, and they're talking about this thing. And that's exactly what happened. Exactly. So he would go on shows, and they would go, no, you don't really mean that he's the founder. Oh, no, I mean it. So nobody's talking about the other thing anymore. Everyone's talking about that. And then the next day he goes, I was being sarcastic. And everybody's talking about how can he say he's being sarcastic? He's, in a sense, I will say this about Trump. He does laugh at the media at how easily they are to manipulate and get them to report whatever he wants them to report. He does control the news cycle whenever he feels like it, it seems like. But those tweets are ridiculous. And Johnny Pye did take him down pretty well. (laughs) 